Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we're going up to Bakewell in Derbyshire and the Thornbridge Brewery, and this is their tart. Not very clear, you can see, there you go. It's a Bakewell Sour coming in at 6% ABV, as you can see, 330ml bottle. Um, this is a collaboration beer with Wild Beer Co. down in Somerset. Um, but it doesn't actually mention it anywhere on the bottle here, so I don't know what's with that. Um, this beer is brewed with Galaxy Hops, and that's it. There's the bottle cap. Purchased this in a local supermarket. Um, for some reason it was being reduced, reduced to clear. Um, £1.10 this cost me, so you can't moan about that. Well, you can, but anyway. A little bit of smoke. So I pour this into this glass. Probably not the right style of glass, people say, or whatever. It doesn't bother me at all. Very crisp looking, clean. Leave that little bit there. It doesn't look like it's maybe slightly bottle conditioned, but it's not one of them murky jobs. So yeah, very clean looking, um, it's a half a finger of pure white hair, there's a nice few lines of bubbles streaming up. Can you see that now? There you go. Streaming through the beer. So another sour, wow. Let's get an aroma then. <sighs> yep, yeah, that kind of lemony sherbet dab, which is like a kind of, of a sweet... Um, I don't know if you can get that now or not. It's almost nose puckering or, or with that kind of slight sour edge. Very kind of fresh. You're picking up when you, as you're you're breathing the fumes in. You're picking up a little bit on the back of the throat. Yeah, let's give it a try. Cheers. Wow. It's got quite a quite a kick to it. Um yeah, let's go again. Very lemony citrus. Lemon, maybe a bit of kind of a touch of lime. There's a slight dryness coming through. It's not a bad beer at all. Let's pull the rest of this in. Yeah, not particularly. There's a few floaties in there, but it's nothing too drastic. Um, yeah, a bit of a, because the beer's cold. It's steaming the glass up a little bit, but hey -o. it's a nice, nice kind of lemony colour, light. It's looking a little bit darker from where your your angle, but for me, looking where the light's coming from, it's it's almost looking like a um, almost pilsnerish, if that makes sense. But yeah, just poured that in. It's just reinforced the head a little bit. Definitely tart. Not overly so. It's probably um, what to my palate anyway. Everyone's palate's different. If I was giving it a, a if you know, a, not a score, but an out of ten, um, it would probably be in about six or seven. I had much more kind of sours than this, and I've had a lot less as well. I wouldn't say this is an entry level sour personally, which is probably why it didn't sell because. Maybe a lot of people are not used to the style. I've no idea. Um, well, I'm kind of I'm there now with with this style. Just getting to grips with the real high end, extreme kind of almost like malt vinegar level sours at the moment. But everything below that, I'm, I'm, I seem to be picking them up. Then Berlin of Ices and you know whatever. Mm. It's decent though. 
Um, apart from the obvious lemony sour sherbet kind of thing that's going on, um, it, it kind of does dissolve away quite quickly on the palate. But it's very clean, crisp, refreshing. I mean, at the moment, um, I try to remember when I'm reviewing this. Is it the fourth? Fourth or fifth of August? Uh, yes, yeah, the fourth Friday, the fourth of August. I'm reviewing this. Currently, it's been really unsettled. So, who knows? By the time I post this, it may be a heat wave. Who knows? But yeah, it's been a few weeks of kind of unsettled weather. So I've been drinking a fair few stouts and stuff like that. So. Anyway, give one more tasting and a rating. It, it's it's definitely drinkable. I would I would certainly buy it again because um, it's it's quite widely available. I think in 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 certain supermarkets. I think Tesco's. Well, I purchased this in Tesco's, just up the road a little Tesco's, and it was in there, you know, being reduced to clear. I'm like, oh, so I bought a couple of bottles. Um, I'm going to give this, as a beer overall, yeah, um, six and a half. It's okay. It's it's quite puckering, but it kind of fizzles away quite quickly, almost to the watery level. Not really picking up the ABV, but it feels a little bit more watery than the 6% to me. Anyway, if you've had this beer from Thornbridge, a collaboration with Wild Beer Co, this is their Tart Bakewell Sour, 6% ABV. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Um, I think my good friend Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews has reviewed this, and if there's anyone else, I will I'll put their links down below as well, as well as the websites to both breweries. So, excuse me, I will eventually be sorting out a sour playlist and it'll appear in there when it does i'll put it in the links below as well thanks for watching and if you're new to the channel please subscribe tell me what you what you think about this beer i'm waffling on now like a like i do and i'll see you on the next review cheers <laughs>